Hi, I'm Rajiv Dadia uh, from Summer Technologies. Uh, in this blog, um, I, I, I already have uh, some information in one, one of my blogs around what is BI and kind of explaining it at a high level. I'm going to get into a little bit more technical details, the specifics um, as, far the, uh, as far as the terms used uh, in industry for uh, different parts of the business intelligence system. So this is part two in that series of what is BI. And, and we'll get into some specifics of uh, what each of the areas are called and, and, and get into some technical details around that. Um, so as just to recap, um, the process is extraction of data from underlying transactional systems into some kind of holding area, be it data warehouse, data marts, uh, being able to uh, abstract and ex abstract that information in business terms, give it business meaning, and then be able to visualize it and, and, and for consumption by the end user. Uh, that is the whole process. Uh, the first step in that process, which is the extraction process, uh, is termed as ETL. There are some few variations of this term, uh, like ELT and, and, uh, and so on, which we'll get into a little later, uh, but currently focusing on uh, uh, the first term, ETL, which is the most uh, commonly used term, uh, stands for extraction, E stands for extraction, T for transformation, L for loading. So I have extract, transform, and load. Uh, what it's referring to, the fact that I'm going to move my data from my underlying uh, enterprise resource planning or, or whatever the source is into some kind of um, reporting system, uh, data, meta, data mart, data warehouse, and, and other terms as we see them uh, in the future. Um, this process allows me to extract that, transform it as, as needed, be it application of a business rule, some form of summarization, uh, cleaning of data, what is called data quality, do all that and be able to store then that data, load that data into my my data warehouse. Uh, from there, I have the semantic layer, which allows me to abstract um, a concept, a business concept, uh, like I'm giving an example here, where it says backlog equals booking minus shipment. Uh, there, we are trying to explain what backlog is uh, from an end user point of view, from a business point of view. And the booking and back, uh, uh, the bookings and shipment um, are and could be technical terms. Uh, uh, as an end user, I need not know where booking comes from, or it could booking itself might be a combination of multiple fields in the underlying database, and I'm completely removed from there. And as an end user, I can just understand the concept of what a backlog is, use it in my reports, visualize them, you know, bar chart, pie charts. Um, uh, line charts, uh, tables, pivot tables, uh, in any form that makes sense to me, be able to visualize it and, and, and then, then make a business decision from there. So that's kind of the end-to-end -end cycle. Um, the tools today used in this kind of uh, technologies, like for example, uh, for ETL purpose, you can have, you know, there are a lot of tools in the, uh, in, in the industry, uh, Informatica, uh, 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 data stage, uh, 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 and, and, and many other uh, ETL tools uh, that, uh, that you can look up on, you know, on, on Google somewhere. Uh, but uh, bottom line is that there are industry standard packages which have been designed and capable of uh, understanding what you want to extract, how you want to transform it, where you want to load it, uh, how often you want to do it, uh, run it, schedule it, um, uh, track it, what succeeded, what failed, and, and provide that whole end-to-end uh, uh, -end experience, if you will, uh, within that, uh, uh, that particular software package. That would be an ETL software. Uh, similarly, there are reporting softwares uh, like uh, Business Objects or uh, Cognos or MicroStrategy um, uh, uh, or OBI EE uh, from Oracle. Uh, these are examples of the reporting system which is capable of providing some kind of a business interface to the underlying data. Uh, that layer is important um, for a business to have an interface with data without understanding the technical details behind it and then being able to uh, ultimately uh, uh, report off of it, you know, visualize it and, and do that. So the two core components of the systems that we are looking at 
uh, from a software point of view, uh, actually, uh, uh, sorry, three components. It's some kind of a storage device, both for transactional system, but mainly for, from our purpose, for BI purpose, for the reporting purpose, be it a data warehouse, data mart, typically a RDBMS or a relational database, Oracle, uh, Sybase, um, uh, uh, DB2, and so on, uh, would be examples of those RDBMS. And then being able to extract and, and uh, use an ETL tool for loading purpose. So second tool is the ETL tool, and final one is the reporting one. So that's what uh, kind of forms the end-to-end -end ecosystem. Uh, and, and there are just a just lot of other things which go along with this, uh, but this in the very basic form uh, forms a BI ecosystem.